Hi guys and welcome back to another update on our favorite EV and battery recycling stock. Before we start, please support me by hitting the subscribe button. We're growing rapidly and your support is everything. Let's begin. So let's get right into it. So three main things happened for me. The AVML stock rose like a phoenix rising from the ashes. The AVML stock is up almost 20% since the market opened today. Number two. AVML featured in Recycling Today. Recycling Today is a major publishing platform for news, you guessed it, recycling related. Number 3. AVML featured in a reputable IHS market article. 3 big news, 3 bullish news. Despite the short selling, the wavering doubt in the company, AVML investors can finally breathe a little sigh of relief. So far, ABML has been the major winner today at the market open. Amongst all the other EV stocks, Lifecycle, NEO, American Lithium, even Tesla, ABML had a sharp rally of almost 20%. If this is not a promising news, then I don't know what is. So let's talk about this article on recycling today. My first impression was, this article is very small. The main highlight for me was the last paragraph which mentions that ABML does not see securing supply chain as a hurdle for the company. Many companies are anxious to sign contracts with ABML. This is very good news, but I would have loved to know a little bit more, such as which companies are in touch with ABML or how soon can these partnerships be revealed to the investors. Remember that Electric companies need to pay third parties a tipping fee to collect old batteries for responsible recycling. If there is a scenario where either ABML or, the, or a government scheme bears the tipping fee cost, then ABML can literally have an unlimited supply of feedstock through various partnerships. The last thing I want to highlight is that ABML was featured in the IHS market report on lithium recycling. IHS Market is a reputable research and data analytics firm that gives high quality input on energy, finance, and transportation. Just the fact that ABML was featured in this article boosts my morale. Just think about it. If ABML were truly a pump and dump stock, then why would this company be featured on an article from IHS Market? So the article highlights some very important things. Number one. China is a domineering force when it comes to lithium production and recycling. Number two, US is lagging behind. USA has not updated its recycling regulations since 1996, which still focuses on lead acid car batteries. AVML is one of the very few recycling companies that are working with the US policymakers to update these regulations. While we're on the lagging behind topic, I think this is going to change for the USA very quickly from becoming the country that is lagging behind on policy and EV production to being a world leader. Because remember, the Biden government is pro-domestic manufacturing and pro-environment. Only recently, Biden has announced a massive $3 trillion infrastructure plan, which promises to invest at least half of the money, which is $1.5 trillion, into investing in technologies to reduce global warming. This leads to my last point. America wants to beat or at least not lose face against China and Europe when it comes to the EV race. In order to do that, America also needs to realize to support the massive influx of EVs, you also need vertical integration so things run smoothly. Another important thing that the article features is a comment from ABML. Doug Nickel, business developer of ABML, recognizes that logistics will be the defining profit factor for recyclers. Company that succeeds in securing stable feedstock will be the winner in the recycling game. So far, ABML has not really given details on how they're faring on this end. Menkasethi briefly touched on this on Recycling Today article, but the details were left out at this stage. I hope ABML gives an update on this at least by the end of this year. To finish off, I want to leave off with a comment from my end. ABML will succeed. There are too many things going for this company, but the most defining factor is that it's an American recycling company that is strengthening America's supply chain and creating American jobs. 
These two factors are big enough for the US government to step in and support the business as much as possible. Don't lose faith guys, sunny days are ahead. What do you think about the recent ABML stock rally? How do you think the government can support ABML? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, then please hit the like button. I hope you have a successful day.